until 11 o'clock at night, and we worked all day. Um, we came home, made dinner, dinner, and really sat down. And then I decided it would be a good idea to <laughs> look at colors for the house. So I went to my local siding and eaves soffit and fascia place and got sample colors. Um, I wasn't expecting them to like hand me over a bundle of samples because I'm sure you've seen or maybe have seen the video where I talk about choosing our siding colors and the ones that I had talked about in that video are actually not even the ones that I'm choosing. But anyway, so they gave us, if I can show you, a whole palette of colors. So then I was basically good because they also gave us their eaves colors. Let me see if I can show you. So they have, oops, they have a bunch of colors there as well for their eaves, soffit, fascia, drip edge, all that stuff. So, and then my only thing I couldn't decide on was shingles. And that is because of the virus going around. Because you can't go into stores to look at samples. Um, I contacted Home Depot about getting samples and then he contacted his shingle rep and they actually sent us samples. Like huge, massive samples. So I told them what shingles I was interested in and they sent their um, bundles not bundles but their like sample sheet for it which ends up being like this whole massive like cardboard um, thing with three different shingle samples um, and then all the like smaller samples so they sent me actually two boxes of those <laughs> with like I want to say like 10 of these in them and I had to choose between the three or four that I was going with um, so I think I came up with it and I'll kind of show you why okay, so this is what the kitchen table looks like <laughs> but yeah so they give you like this hard hardboard and it shows like the samples in picture form then it shows the sample in actual shingle form and then it shows in like a picture um, of a house form so and then same with that one so I was deciding between Canadian driftwood weatherwood and barkwood now online obviously these are going to look totally different so when I got this I was able to sit down and go with the siding colors and everything um, to s decide what I wanted this Mission Brown has been really intriguing, but it says it looks like that in, like that is the photo of Mission Brown in a full form. So I think I decided against that one. But anyway, so I'm not going with any of these colors because you can actually take them out. It's just a screw. And I'll set those aside. Now... I believe these are the colors that we're going with. So, this is Rockaway Gray. I want to describe it as like a gray green with a bit of like brownie tones in it. And then this one is brownstone and it's more of just like a beige. So this would be our main siding color, and this would be our trim siding color, and then this would be our fascia, soffit, ease trough. This, I believe, would be our window trim. The window trim is from a different company, which I haven't gotten a hold of yet. And then this would be like drip edge and our flashing that would match this. So those two match, and then this and that are fairly close, and then that would be to that and so when I took these I went along all my shingles 
and I tried deciding between the Weatherwood and this one was my final one. So if I take this out, because I know I can. Hang on, how do I do this? This is the chandelier that I decided to go with. Ooh, that's bright. So. It is Canadian driftwood. And I'll kind of try and show you right here. This one right here. The orangey, beigey, and green. It's hard to tell on camera, obviously, but there you can see a little bit better how well it matches those two. So this one right here, and then those two. But it's more of a basic color once it all comes together. Um, you don't really see the oranges and the little um, undertones of the bright. It's more of like a single color, whereas some of them are like a duo tone. So I think I think that's what we're going with. So today is April 22nd, I believe, 2020. And I think we finally come up with the colors of our house. Actually ended up having my epiphany moment <laughs> was looking at it sideways and seeing how the colors matched up from pitcher to shingle to pitcher, pitcher, shingle to pitcher, and then all the way across. Um, it kind of gives you a better idea of what they look like on a larger scale rather than looking up close. So this one here you can tell is more black and a little bit of the greeny gray. And then this one has a, definitely a lot more browns and beiges. This one is almost greeny beige. And then that one down there is definitely like an orangey um, beige brown. So that one was my first one that I canceled out, the barkwood. This one I canceled out second because if it looks like that, it's way too light for what I want. Um, and it's just got like too many light colors and then I was deciding between that one and that one and I was worried if by the looks on in real life this one is way too brown just like the picture um, you can't see it on camera it's not showing correctly but this one is my overall safe zone so Kyle just got home from work and he's tired so he went straight downstairs um, but I'm gonna go over this with him in the morning. Um, he, we've already looked at shingles and siding and a ton, but now to have the actual shingle samples here physically um, has made it all the more confusing, but all the more clear, I believe. I just looked at them and finally made a decision because I feel like there was three that were so similar but yet so different that if I made the wrong decision it could go really bad <laughs> so I think I picked a safe choice but a good choice and hopefully it works so so anyways, I just thought I would share that with you and hopefully it all works out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my siding colors and my shingle colors, give it a thumbs up. And I guess we will see you in our next video. Bye guys.